My name is Brad Barker. I'm the president of the Halo Corporation. Right now, we are at Paradise Point Resort, just off the coast of San Diego. In October of this year, we're going to take this 50-acre island resort and transform it into a counterterrorism battle lab. And what that means is there's going to be several different scenarios throughout the five-day summit for all stakeholders in the national security construct, whether it be border security, a law enforcement officer on patrol, or all the way up to the most advanced elite special operations operator. We're going to have scenarios here that you will be able to take them in, problem solve, and then execute outside of a standard classroom death by PowerPoint environment. We are going to be challenging everyone in the national security construct that is a stakeholder in protecting us here in the homeland and challenging them on what we know to be the most current and relevant threats against the United States, whether it be a border incursion, a maritime incursion, or a cyber security or cyber terrorism scenario. Those are the things that we're going to be discussing here on Halo Island. In an immersive, experiential, multi-jurisdictional environment like we provide here at Halo Island, everybody's going to be able to see everybody else's bite at the apple. How are they going to be taking a piece of this incursion? And they're going to be learning from each other. And operators learn in one of three ways. Visual, which we're going to provide. Auditory, we're going to be teaching. And kinesthetic, we're going to involve you. We're going to throw you in the deep end. And a fire chief hanging out with a SWAT commander and all having to go through the same type of scenario they're going to have a better understanding of what their counterpart on the other side of the aisle is going to be needing to think about and discern and make decisions on without having to actually have any true physical threat to life and limb. So any of the folks that make the type of technology that first responders and war fighters and law enforcement use to save lives, that is invited here to the island so that when all the subject matter experts talk about counterterrorism, emergency response, mass casualty events, we want to be able to offer them hope in the use of technology. Technology is a force multiplier so that small units can do more with less, so that 10 people can behave like a thousand and a thousand can behave like an army. We want to be able to give the right information to the right operator in the right format so they can have you know, a God's eye view of the situation. So being able to share that type of information in an environment like this, where you're completely immersed in several scenarios from 6 a.m. until 2 in the morning, some really, really good outcomes are going to be the benefit. In my view, it's not how large your company is, whether you're a Beltway Super Prime or you're a small little company that just sells services out of your home office. I believe that you should have the exact same type of access to the people who need it. At an event like this, it's a level playing field. Everybody's gonna get the same type of access because it's five days. Imagine being on an island for five days with a limited amount of people. By the end of the five days, you're gonna be on a first name basis with a lot of the people that are interested in what you do. And that's really what we're trying to do here is foster that collaboration so people can not only understand that there are services and products that actually do some of these things, but who are the people that they can deliver it to? Who can they ask the hard questions of? and having classes and demonstrations and a banquet and being able to break bread and have a meal with some of these people, some really good access and networking and understanding is going to be the consequence of spending a week on this island. So what I wanna tell you about very briefly is what we have scheduled as far as keynote addresses out here on Paradise Lawn. On Monday, we have the former Director of Intelligence and the Director of Public Safety for the country of Mexico Dr. Alejandro Juare Romero, equivalent to the Secretary of State position here in the United States. He is the Minister of the Interior for the country of Mexico. On Tuesday, we have scheduled Governor Jan Brewer of Arizona, arguably the most forward-leaning on immigration reform and border security issues. On Wednesday, which is Halloween, we have America's top spook, the former Director of NSA and the Director of CIA, General Michael Hayden. On Thursday, we have the commanding officer of LAPD, Chief Michael Downing. He also runs not only the Special Projects Division, but he also runs their entire counterterrorism division for the entire jurisdiction of LA County. Now, after everybody spent the morning in class and run around the island and taken advantage of the geography here and run through a bunch of austere scenarios, people are gonna wanna let their hair down. So there's multiple restaurants, there's gonna be all kinds of food here and banquets for everyone to share and care throughout the island. And then we're gonna have live music every night, we're gonna have all kinds of entertainment and a couple of other surprises. So we understand the need to be able to decompress and we're gonna facilitate that in a bunch of different venues. 
This is an event not to be missed. To say it's historical is an understatement. Nowhere else do you have this level of training and these types of hitters in the keynote speaker arena anywhere at any event in the country. It's happening from October 28th to November 2nd, 2012 here in San Diego, California. For more information, you want to go to the Halo website. It's thehalocorp.com. There you can read about who's training, read about the different keynote speakers, see the special events and surprises that we have in store, and you can register right there on the site. It's thehalocorp.com.